Before we get into the details of the case, radiation colitis, very briefly, is an inflammatory condition of the large intestine or colon that's accompanied or often accompanied by ulcers or open sores. And you can see here in the video, the main video shows a colon with radiation colitis, while the inset video shows a healthy colon for comparison. So now to get into the details of this case, we have a female who's 65 years old who's experienced pain in her lower abdomen, frequently bloody stools, chronic diarrhea and constipation, all since her cancer treatment in 2011, which was in the lower part of her intestine, as you can see here in the picture on the right. The cancer therapy was 200 hours of chemotherapy with 33 ionizing radiation treatments, which rendered her cancer free. However, she's had almost continuous pain in her lower abdomen since, and has been bedridden since 2011, approximately once a week due to pain and a lack of energy. She's also been hospitalized three times since 2011 due to severe pain from partial small bowel obstructions. And with respect to the blood in the stool, it's about once to twice a month, as well as a history of mild depression and constipation. Lab tests were done and there was nothing significant turned up there. On examination, bloating of her lower abdomen, pain in the left lower quadrant that's tender to palpation, Positron emission tomography and magnetic resonance imaging testings came up negative for cancer. X-rays show minor intermittent dilated small and large intestines. So for treatment with comotherapy, the 905 professional model was used in office. Gastroenterology 6 treatment and universal 3 treatments were done for a total of 22 sessions over a number of weeks. If you want specifics of treatment, please contact me for details. For other therapies, she was continued with the same as before she started coma therapy, and that is supplementation with multivitamins and Ayurvedic herbs. After the first week of treatment, she had less bloating, less pain, and less discomfort. And after the first four weeks of treatment, she no longer had any blood in her stool, and she was pain-free and has been that way since. She also reported to have a very heightened sense of well-being and she feels more vigorous than before comotherapy and she claims to have better sleep and improvement in her moods with less depressive symptoms. Dr. Willick said she's been a patient of mine for over 10 years and I've never seen her as well as she currently has been in the past three months since using Comra. Now on the six month follow up all is still clear. And in conclusion, I want to say thank you for following along, and I trust this case report summary will be of use to you or someone you know. And I want to say a very special thank you to Dr. Willicks. Dr. Willicks, for a little bit of background, is a former board-certified cardiac surgeon. He actually pioneered the first open-heart surgery program in South Dakota. He's a passionate healer and integrative medicine practitioner. And he's been practicing physician since 1969. He's authored a number of books, one you can see here on the side, Confessions of an Ex-Heart Surgeon, as well as many other books and articles. And he just recently ran the Ironman at 75 years old. Well done, Dr. Willicks, and thank you very much. We'll see you next time.